Blankets and food remain scattered outside of Union Station in Kansas City, left behind by Chiefs fans running from gunfire. Police say the shooting at Wednesday's Super Bowl victory parade appeared to result from a dispute between several people. Two juveniles were among those detained. Preliminary investigative findings have shown there was no nexus to terrorism or homegrown violent extremism. Lisa Lopez Galvan, a mother of two, was killed in the shooting. More than 20 others were injured, and according to police, half of them are under 16 years old. Some who were caught in the chaos tackled a suspected gunman. There's a, a, a big uh, scramble in the crowd. I hear somebody you know, yell, you know, get him. I look to my left, I see a flash, um, I, 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 I tackle that individual. More than 800 law enforcement officers lined the parade route when the gunfire erupted. Officials here say the incident is reigniting the conversation about what can be done to prevent these tragedies. There is a gun violence challenge in this community and many others. That, however, does not mean that Kansas City will stop having major events. We will do all we can to make sure people are safe.